If anyone has an interest in the transgender phenomenon sweeping the West Western world, they'll want to listen to this. My name's Ben, and this is the problem with being awake. Now, the NHS have an eight-year waiting list for sex change operations, um, which is fantastic news for England, although there will be private surgeries that, that might still be able to operate for a short period of time. Um, the reason for this is NHS took all of its guidance from a body called WPATH. That's the World Health, the World Professional Association for Transgender Health. And the, a very famous guy leaked uh, 170 files and some, a couple of videos. And the evidence in them is damning enough for them all to be put in prison. All of them, the ones on the video. Um, because they discussed and agreed upon committing a crime. Uh, as in doing surgery on someone who didn't know what they were consenting for. That's a crime. They're not even all surgeons. Um, and the notes between them is basically more along the lines of let's make these people's lives better even though we might have to cut through, through some red tape to look we need to see what happens let's just keep going and experimenting that's pretty much what comes out in the files it's the biggest medical scandal in our lifetimes there's no one alive today who would have seen a bigger one it's bigger than the botany it's ruining lives now i'm glad the, the nhs took all of their advice from WPATH, all of it as did every other major gender clinic in the western world and they were never actually uh, professionally, well, they declared themselves a professional body, but they didn't have the qualifications. But the American Association of um, Medicine, the American Pediatric Society, uh, the w World Health Organization declassified it as a crime in 2000, as a, sorry, as a mental health, this declassified trans gender surgery or gender dysphoria as a um, mental health condition only in 2019 and they have allowed WPATH to govern how things should best practice should be but they don't know they're not skilled there they have no long-term knowledge of successes but they do have plenty of long-term knowledge of uh, failures including liver cancer on several occasions and lung cancer I believe on one um, also five or six very serious diseases that could prove fatal also they're not told they'll never experience sexual pleasure in their life until after the surgery um, they aren't they aren't properly warned about the um, the fact they'll never be able to reverse it and they'll be infertile if they do um, almost, I mean that's like 99 six percent or something that that's what happens um, and the pu puberty blockers and hormone drugs are making them ill and, and potentially killing and that's those are the ones that they recommend same ones they actually use on male rapists to castrate them now I don't like the idea of a 10 year old girl getting given the same drug as a 50 year old male rapist to castrate them I don't know about you that this has to come to the mainstream media. This has to be spoken of. You can du you can Google WPATH online and put files, WPH files, and you'll see articles. Um, and then if you want to really get into it, it's the, uh, you go to the Environmental Progress, WH uh, files, that's where they are actually the full files are there for you to read but if you're in that eight year queue if you're just if you know you're just going through a phase and this hasn't been with you since a very young age then do drop out of the queue if it's a lifestyle choice um, because there are plenty of people in that queue for whom it might not be um, and for my advice for anyone seeking who, with genuine gender dysphoria which I've described in another video 
anyone who has gen genuine gender dysphoria to extrapolate itself from the mob and find professional care as best you can. This is not an organisation that's followed WPATH's guidelines and is still operating. I, in fact, I see that as actually a capital crime because they're doing experimental surgery on children. But whichever way you see it, whichever way it's seen by other people, it's a serious medical scandal the likes of which we've never known of. We've never had a bigger one in the world. Interesting, isn't it, that a lot of people online is becoming bigger than the general media but the general media haven't printed this the telegraph ha and the guardian have it online but not in their papers it's not been on the news and it should be front page front five pages probably why are people who have the information not using it the bbc is run by the government the health clinic that would perform gender reassignment surgery is run by the government therefore having known that they would have been duty bound would they not to report it to the BBC to get those that information out into the world it's the same in America they try to cover it up it's all over the internet and it's seriously the guy who wrote uh, the guy who leaked it is the guy who leaked the Twitter file and they've been fully confirmed as authentic um, as the Twitter files were so um, if you haven't already sort of had any information about it if you're a parent or you you really are suffering from gender dysphoria please read these files and please ensure that these guidelines are not followed because they are criminal thank you very much and be good <laughs>